What's up guys, Thomas back for another video and today we're doing a quick unboxing and review of the Yi wireless dome camera. All right guys, so we just got this in the mail a couple hours ago and this is predominantly a surveillance camera but the reason we got this was for our pet. We just got a puppy and while we're at work we want to keep a good eye on our dog. So we got this. This is a, a pretty nifty camera. Yi has been in the game for a while. They have been making uh, affordable cameras for either action cameras or high definition security cameras. So this was pretty affordable. We got this on Amazon. The price still $34, a bargain when you consider it's a high definition 720p full motion 360 degree camera. All right, some of the specs on this camera on the back here. It's a HD camera 720p as I said before. Field of view is 112 degrees, pan and tilt, and 360 degree auto rotation if you want that. The cool thing about this also, it has uh, motion tracking, so if it detects motion, it will track the, the person or the object that's moving. And it also has two-way communication, so if you see an intruder, or in my case, we're using this for our pet, we can talk to our dog, and uh, hopefully she can hear us. And it also has night vision, which is really awesome, although hopefully we don't have to use it at nighttime. This thing is uh, wireless, so it connects to your um, wireless router. It has an app you can um, also download so you can monitor via uh, your mobile cell phone or tablet. So let's open this and see what's in here. Okay, so we got the, the white camera. It looks pretty cool. Uh, you can see the camera right here. Feels very heavy. That'd be good when you put it on a table or object. Uh, all we have is this little tamper-proof seal right here. Got my little unboxing knife. That was pretty hard. Open that up. Mm, looks like a manual. They got the little barcode here you can scan so that you can download the app. That's pretty cool. Some other manuals, some Yee branding stuff. Pretty nice, colorful. And here you have, whoa, okay. So here's your top cover. It just sits on top here, it doesn't do anything. Let me just secure this little camera in place. And here you go. Just pull this out. Feels very heavy. It does have the non-stick uh, bottom, so that's pretty cool. In the box you have these cables and cords down here. Looks like a, a brick. Be standard with the US adapter. Uh, what is this? This looks like mounting screws. So I guess you can hard mount this or permanently mount this to a surface or a wall. And here's your USB cable. So that's pretty cool. It appears that because this is USB, so that's correct, so five volts, which is good. So apparently you can use this with any brick, uh, which is also cool. You can also use this with any um, battery pack or even a laptop or a computer. So this doesn't necessarily have to be plugged into a wall. USB to micro USB. It's a pretty long cord. And here's your mounting plate. So if you want to mount this permanently to a surface, you use your mounting screws and you can secure the device permanently. That's it, nothing else in here. So on the back here, you have some ports. You have your reset button in case it does malfunction. You have your micro USB port for charging and powering and you have your micro SD slot. So this thing is pretty cool. You have the app where you can actually monitor and record. The E also provides a cloud service where you can actually store your images, but you have this SD or micro SD card slot so you can actually do continuous recording or you can record your videos to the SD card for future reference. You also have these two holes in the front and that's your microphone. And I think there's a speaker, which is right here on the side. So this here's your speaker port and your two microphone ports as well. So pretty straightforward. Uh, the white is pretty cool. It's gonna match where we're gonna actually put this so it matches the rest of the environment. And uh, we'll do that right now, actually. All right, so before you go out there, we're gonna insert this micro USB cable. We do not have a micro SD card. As of yet, we'll be using the app for now. Plug this into the brick, and that goes straight into the plug. So, pretty straightforward. One amp output. All right, I don't know what to expect. We're gonna uh, download the app and see how it goes. Okay guys, we're back here. We have the camera where we wanna have it, which is in the kitchen, pointing towards us, because this is where we actually have our pet in the, uh, in the crate. Just download the Yi Home app. Pretty straightforward. Tap that. That's what it looks like. North America, sure. Email and password, so we'll put that right now. 
Okay, so we just signed in. We put our email and password in there. That creates an account so you can use your cloud service. And uh, tap here to add a camera. My camera is currently not plugged in, so let's plug it in. Let's add a camera. So let's see, which one do I have? I have the Yi e Dome. Let's go with that one. Wait, 20 seconds. All right, I did not hear a thing. All right, so I need to reset the camera. Let's try to reset the camera. Uh, let's see here. Reset is successful. Had to reset it. Let's see what happens there. Come here. I heard it. Waiting to connect. Let's enter my password in here. Okay, so I just put my password in there. It's still talking to me. Connect. All right, you heard that. So I got to put this towards the camera and let it scan. Okay, so here we're going to, hopefully it scans it. QR code scan is successful. Connecting to Wi-Fi. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I just click, click the next button, which we're going to do right now. Pairing is successful. You can start using your camera now. Pairing is successful. You can start using your camera now. Pretty awesome. So we're in the kitchen. We're going to hit that. And share camera with the family. No. We're going to start using the camera here. All right, so here we go. I can see myself in the camera there. So I'm going to update my firmware. Okay. So it talks to me. So let's download the firmware. Apparently, apparently this new uh, firmware supports Alexa, which is good. So you can have a use it as a smart camera in your house. Uh, let's see here. So that's good. And there it is. There I am behind the camera, and there's someone next to me. Okay, guys, so I finally got to connect. It's not too bad. It's pretty clear, actually. Although it's 720p, it's still considered high definition like most cameras. Uh, here's the actual image right here. And wave my hand. So the latency is not too bad. Maybe a second, maybe a half second. Of delay uh, so I'll raise my hand again we up oh, there it is so a half second delay not terribly bad and you have your controls here which I don't know how to use yet but apparently you can you can turn the camera around and the field of view is pretty good I think if you do that with your finger because of the wide angle you can get a good perspective without even tilting the camera or moving the camera so I can actually just tilt up my finger and get a better perspective. Um, I can go full screen and there you go. I can display the navigation control there. So it's a pretty cool app uh, once you get it going. And as you can see, the picture is very clear, very decent. Uh, as you can see at my legs, well, maybe you can't see it, um, but that's the crate right down here. Where my finger is and uh, that's where we're going to be watching our puppy. All right, guys, we've had the Yi Dome camera for a couple of days now, and it has performed pretty well. Just in the past two days alone, we played with it and highly recommend this camera. Let's talk about some of the things that I like about this camera. First of all, the fact that it's very small is great. The fact that it's wireless is another perk. It does use Wi-Fi. The thing I also like about it is all the features and the amenities that it has. So let's take a look at the app and uh, get a better perspective of what's going on. So you download the Yi e Home app, which I have right here. Turn that on. And it comes to, this is your default page right here. So I have only one camera on this app. If you had more than one camera, then you'll have multiple cameras. This one is called kitchen because it's conveniently in the kitchen. So you have all these different features here, settings, alerts, 
those are pretty good. If I had an alert, I would also get a notification in my notification window here, which I don't have a notification or any alerts, but that's a pretty cool feature. You just tap on the screen and it will load. As you can see, I'm here filming. This is the app, as you saw the first time, the first day I unboxed it. Pretty cool app interface is pretty good. It hasn't crashed once since I've used it. Here's the dog in the frame there. But um, it's really cool. Uh, go to your settings here and you have all your options here. You can turn the camera on or off. You can name it, obviously it's named kitchen because it's in the kitchen. Here's your camera settings. Um, so status light, that's on to let you know if the camera is on or off, if it's being currently used or recorded by another person. That's really good to have. Image rotation, uh, rotates the image 180 degrees. And that's in case you wanna mount your camera on the roof so that the image wouldn't be upside down. So you just hit that button and it will invert the picture, which is good. Night vision, I have that on. That was really effective. I'll show a clip of that in a couple of uh, minutes. Time zone, call mode, that's intercom. We have that and our firmware is up to date. So that's pretty cool. Go back out here. You have also some other settings on here. If you hit the smart detection, which is really cool. Um, anytime the camera senses motion, it will se send you a notification from your app to your cell phone. And then it will record, I think, a 12 second clip of what it recorded. Now, this camera is very affordable. It's uh, around 30 bucks. And just like any other manufacturer, they make their money off the cloud service. So if you do want to record motion, you might have to sign up for that. eCloud, I'm not subscribed because I don't want to. You don't really have to. The camera does come with a SD slot in the back, as I mentioned earlier, right here. There's your micro SD slot. All your information could technically go to that one point. Now, if you're using this for, I guess, security purposes, then you may not want to have an SD card just because in case someone breaks into your house or whatever secure uh, place that you're trying to re uh, secure a record, uh, a thief or anyone else can actually remove the SD card and there goes your evidence. That's why you might want to invest into cloud service. There are some other options though. If you look at the app, I have some images under alerts. Okay, so here's a few of the uh, past alerts. Uh, let's see here if I find it. So here's one. Actually, it's actually six seconds, so I apologize. I said 12 seconds. It records a six second clip once it senses motion. So anytime the dog passes by, it senses the motion and would record a six second clip. It's pretty cool because you also have this download button and that can be saved to your cell phone or whatever device you're going to. Uh, here are some night clips right here. This is while we're sleeping and the camera is pretty darn good. Let's see if I can maximize that. I'll probably put upload this as well in the video. You can get a better idea of how it looks, but replay here. And that's a pretty cool image. Uh, what the camera is picking up is actually the little, I guess, insects or bugs because this is an infrared camera. Uh, the bugs can still see that. So they're attracted by that infrared light. Here are some other clips here. Very clear. This one is motion detected as well. And you can see the images are very clear, and these images are actually <laughs> low definition. Before I do that, I did show this earlier. Um, this is your default view right here. Uh, this right here is also cool. This app is amazing. Another feature of the Yee Home app is that in case you wanna do something else in your, on your phone, you can hit this button and it will minimize that image. And now you can scroll to your other apps and so forth, do whatever and that image is still being shown on your screen. So that's a pretty cool, I think a pretty cool function right there. You can move it anywhere you want to. It doesn't have to be uh, in that corner. So tap it, it opens up and here you go. The most used part of this app will be the joystick here. So 
Uh, when I did unbox it, I did tap left, tap right, up, down. Um, but this is actually a virtual joystick, so you can actually move this dot left, up, diagonal. And as you can see, the picture is being moved. Okay. Now, once you have your camera in a set position, say, for example, you want to have it pointed towards your door. Uh, let's try to do that. This is not the best. So say I want a picture over there of my sliding door. I can hit that plus button and that will be saved as a bookmark. If I go to my bookmarks here, I know I have preset locations of certain zones in my house. This zone right here is where I would have it for the, the puppy, the dog. And it defaults to a set location. There's another location here. And that's the one I just did with the sliding door. So if the camera is skewed left or right, um, or in a different position, and I want to see the door, I can just hit that button, and it's going to default to the sliding door. So that's pretty cool. You can have five of those favorites. One thing to note, which I didn't know from the get-go, was that I was showing you these pretty cool, clear images, and they were all in standard definition. So this is your maximized button right here. You go full screen, and you have this image. And it's not too bad. Uh, you can touch that drop down menu and as you can see there's auto and HD. So we can go HD and now you have a HD image or picture which is 720p. Uh, and for me that's, that's more than adequate. So one of the great features of this app is also the ability to track which is pretty awesome. Not only does it give you a notification when it, once it senses an intruder, you can also track. So you go to this little camera icon down here, tap that, and you have this motion tracking. You can turn this on, and I think that's it. Hit back. Once it senses motion, it will track that. So let's see if I can activate the motion tracking. So here you go, try to get it to pick up. You know what, actually I think it did pick up. I didn't even notice it. So if you do stay still for a couple, there it goes. If you do stay still for a couple of seconds, then it goes back to its default view, which was in this case, my case, the window view. So now if I move again, it should turn towards me. And there it is, it just tracks. So if I go more to the right now, let's see if it will track me. There it is, it's tracking me more. I'll go more to the right. And it's always keeping me in view which is pretty awesome. Uh, after a couple of seconds, it should go back to its default view, which was the window view. It's tracking the dog, I think. <laughs> it should go back to the window. There it is. It's back now to the uh, sliding door. And that's it. Um, so if you pair that feature up with your notifications and it does record, then you're in perfect shape. In this view right here, in portrait mode, um, the camera field of view is so wide that it's not shown on my phone in the vertical mode or portrait mode, but I can use my finger and just go left and right. Now, the developers of this app were so smart that they used the accelerometers in the phone where I can just tilt the phone left and right and it will do the same thing. So that's pretty cool. Really no gripes about it. It is a 360 camera, um, so it can rotate 360 degrees field of view. There's the dog, there's the other room, there's my kitchen. So let's get back to the studio and I can give you my final impressions and how I feel about this camera. All right guys, so we're back in the studio and my final thoughts on the Yi Dome camera, I'm pretty impressed. Initial impressions of the camera when I unboxed it. It didn't look too presentable. It looks like a weird kind of alien kind of look, but it's very functional. It's well designed out. I'm impressed with all the features. Never once did I have to reset it except for that initial setup process. The wireless function works pretty great. Never did I have any connectivity issues as far as Wi-Fi disconnecting or anything. It's versatile. It does use a micro USB. So you can power this with a battery bank or your laptop, even a, a computer. So my impressions of the Yidon camera, it, it's really good. Um, some of the things that I love about it, I love the motion tracking. I love the actual notifications that I get to my cell phone. I actually like the picture quality, even though it's 720p. 
You know, it's built pretty well. I wouldn't use this outdoors. It's not advertised as an outdoor camera, but I think the hardware is secure. It does have that microphone and speaker, and the speaker is very clear. Uh, it's not too tinny. It has a good bass and clarity to it. So it's a good speaker. So I think the hardware itself, everything was thought out. So where you normally have issues with manufacturers with the software, I've seen people make wonderful products, hardware is all great, well designed, and the software kills it. Fortunately, these guys did not do that. The software is really great. I mean, it makes up for, it doesn't have many shortfalls or shortcomings, but the app, the software, the interaction with the device is was surprisingly smooth and user-friendly. Uh, and that's where I feel they get some extra points, actually. Uh, this wasn't bad by any means, but the software is just it, just, it makes me want to use the app even more or check on my, my pet, my puppy even more. So uh, I must say kudos to them for, for making a thorough application. Uh, the interface with this is, is great. So as far as uh, ratings on the bakery scale, from one to five, this thing gets a four and a half loaves out of five. Four and a half loaves out of five loaves uh, for this camera. And you're probably saying, I praise this thing so much, I give it such highly remarks and I haven't really talked about any bad or shortcomings of the camera, but um, it's almost perfect. Um, you can argue that the design is not that great, but it's okay, I can put this somewhere um, in the corner and you wouldn't notice. I, as I said, I think the build quality is good because um, even when this thing pivots and moves, it's quiet, you don't, you don't notice it. Uh, it doesn't attract too much attention, but once you see it, it might make you feel a little awkward if you do have it in the living room. With that said, four and a half loaves out of five loaves, and that's a pretty good score. It's to the point where I'm actually considering buying one or two more where I can put around the house for actual surveillance. It's that good. I'm really impressed with the night vision. Uh, the active tracking is great. Uh, two-way communication, if you want to do that, is great. You don't have to use a two-way communication. You can actually just hit the speaker button on the app and you can hear what's going on. With that said, the Yi Dome camera is a go. I highly recommend it. Um, for 30 bucks, it's a win. Bakery approved. If you guys want to see more videos like this, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you think about this camera. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time. Peace.